what is going up you guys this is xxx on so mars sanchez xxx here and uh today i have a top five city of tweaks of april 2013 uh sorry i haven't been posting recently i know i missed last wednesday but i'm gonna make up with that with two videos today um on saturday i've just been uh busy lately but i'm um, trying to get things back on track so that is why i'm releasing this video today on sunday um i'm gonna start off with number one which is flag paint um what flag paint does is it pretty much adds a nice little style to your notification banner uh, depending on what app it's from uh, for example let, let me go into uh, the actual flag paint settings and my settings application um, as you can see you're given a few options here you're given tint the background which is pretty much um, I'll show you what that is um, right now with a test so this is a test banner as you can see um, there's a nice little notification purple. The tint is pretty much the purple. Um, if I turn off tint and test it, I can do this again. And you'll see that there's no color. So pretty much when you have tint background um, selected, it changes the background according to what app that notification is from. Album art icon is obviously um, the little icon of where that notification is coming from. And then the old tint style is just a plain color. There's no transparency. And then instead of like the rounded edges like we see right here, there has a little bit of roundness to it. If I turn on old old tint style, that pretty much just gives me a solid color. And the notification center is actually square of uh, the notification. And we're also given semi-transparent. Um, you can choose to turn that off. You can remove the icon. You can center the text. And then you can make it fade in and out. But yeah, those are some pretty basic um, stuff. Now this uh, actual tweak can be found on the Big Boss repo for 99 cents. Um, it's a great tweak if you're looking for a little bit of customization on your iDevice. It makes it look nice, stylish. And it also, um, if you're the type of person that has a lot of notifications, helps you, you know, um, know what it's actually coming from. So you can be a lot quicker um, and see if it's important and whatnot. Uh, coming in list on our list we have Bolt. Now Bolt is free. Now if you haven't noticed my actual battery um, on the top right, uh, there's no icon. It just gives me the percentage. Now that's optional. Um, but pretty much what this does is it makes some space for um, free on your status bar in case you have any other tweaks that you um, use the status bar. If it's getting crowded, you can download Bolt and it pretty much gives you that extra space. Um, I'm as far as I know, there's not too many options in um, the actual Bolt settings. It just gives you the option for battery percentage, which you can turn on and off if I can get this. I'm pretty sure you have to respring for that to take effect. Um, but pretty much what this does is like it will only show up, a lightning bolt will only show up when you plug in your device to charge. So that can be pretty handy. And once again, it's free from the Big Boss repo. Coming in on number three, we have Password Pilot Pro. Um, this can be bought for $1.99 in the Big Boss repo. And um, once again, there are some settings in this, in um, your settings app right here, Password Pilot. Now what Password Pilot does is it actually, um, whenever you download something from the app store, you don't have to enter your password. Um, you can just preset it in here. Uh, you go to accounts right here, see my account, and then you just uh, select that account, type in the password. And every time you download something from the app store, you're not required to type in your password. Uh, I'm going to show you an example right now. Um, the only downside I would say to this app, this uh, tweak, is if you do not have a passcode on your uh, iDevice and you don't have any, um, and if you have a credit card installed on your uh, Apple ID account, it can be used. So um, I'd be careful with this and make sure, like, if you're going to use this, you at least put a passcode on your device. Or you don't put a credit card on your um, iDevice at all. I'm just going to go into here. Um, I'm going to download Draw Something too. It's free. That's new. I've played the first one. It was pretty good. And here we go. You see, I did not have to type my password at all. Um, I just went into the App Store, selected it, and then you can just simply press OK. Um, one thing that's important, make sure you type in your password correctly when uh, going into Password Pilot. And as you can see, it's downloading. Um, next on our list we have Pluck from Mod My Eye Source. Now that is completely free. And what Pluck allows you to do, as you can see, is normally when you're at your lock screen and you double press the home button, you're given the, um, the music player um, controls. 
and but mine's just different from you guys if you press your home button right now and you'll see this but it's, it's actually a little different as you can see by my volume bar I'm giving a little icon right there um, what this allows me to do if I just simply select this is I can actually manually select the song normally it would shuffle them and be random but with this I can actually select the song to, um, to play I'll just do this and for the Kill Skrillex remix I'm gonna put that down in case of copyright but I'm pretty sure by Skrillex and I don't have to worry about that it's just a remix um anyways but yeah that is pluck free from the mind my eye source and um next on our list this is also for you music lovers um if it's called lyricalizer um I'll put a nice little annotation if you don't know how to spell that um but it can be bought for $1.29 from the big boss repo and what lyricalizer does is it actually adds um lyrics to your music and your music app it pulls these directly from um, uh, famous websites um, that you use to browse lyrics, such as, um, what is it, lyrics.com or something. I, I'm not exactly sure. Lyrics box. It takes them from the pretty much top, um, most, uh, pretty much, uh, how should I say, the top used websites. All right. Um, but here it is, as you can see, uh, I have the lyrics to this. If you don't have lyrics to songs, it automatically searches them. And it cache and the good thing about this is it caches it into your device. Um, so, like, if you're not connected to Wi-Fi or the internet or anything like that, it's saved on your device. So if I press clocks right here by, um, by Coldplay, as you can see, I have the lyrics here to the song. These were all downloaded for me, and then there are some songs, guys. Um, it's not a hundred percent, you know, finding lyrics, but there are some songs where you can't find any. But that's absolutely fine because very rarely it doesn't find any, unless like you're downloading your music illegally or something. Um, but if you buy your music from iTunes, you shouldn't have a problem. Um, but yeah, uh, now last on our list, um, which is probably my favorite. This is going to be my favorite out of all five of these. The other ones were out of order. Um, but my absolute favorite is called The City of Patch. Um, this can be actually um, purchased from the Repo Cydia um, repository. Um, if you don't know what the, the actual URL for that repository is, I'll post a link in the description and also put an annotation. Um, what, Cydia, what Cydia Patch does pretty much is... Um, it allows uh, Cydia to run in the background. So let's say I'm browsing through uh, all these tweaks or whatever add-ons, um, and I go into here, and then let's say I want to go on the web and look for something more. I'm um, sorry about the ads. I can just like exit this. I know um, use any other app like Safari or whatnot. You know I'd be searching it, and then if I want to go back into Cydia. I can just simply go back to my switcher and select Cydia and as you can see it loads it right back up um, without reloading Cydia so um, I don't know why Cydia doesn't use this I, I don't know if there's some um, some actual uh, cosh, things you have to be cautious about when using this tweak um, as far as I know I haven't had any problems with this tweak it hasn't really affected my Cydia at all but pretty much um, I find it so useful now I don't have to wait anymore to reload my Cydia because it can get pretty annoying if you're going in and out of Cydia looking like let's say for example looking at my top um, five video that you're watching right now makes things a lot easier to go back into um, from this but yeah those are my top five Cydia tweaks of April